What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a Gargoyles figure. This one is of Bronx and this is by NECA. All right, and we're going to start off with the packaging. As you can see there, this is the front. Nice big picture of Bronx. It says Gargoyles, NECA. We got a nice picture on the side of him growling then the back it says collect them all on the bottom which is interesting because i've only seen a couple of these i've not seen them all and then you got some other pictures of bronx right there here's him again and you guys must have noticed that on the top right it says it comes with goliath's closed wings which i'm really interested in seeing there's the barcode for any of you that are trying to pick this guy up maybe this will help you out i hope if it can focus there it is all right, and then, of course, NECA also usually has these nice flaps that lets you see the figure and a nice picture of the figure on the inside. So there you go, guys. That's enough of the packaging, though. Let's get this guy out. Now, here are the accessories, and he starts off with an extra head. So this one has him with a really, like, open mouth, really angry look, really nice detail on it. I love that, like, baby powdered blue on him, the wrinkles on the nose and the eyes. The teeth, the tongue, got that white jaw on the bottom. Really cool, really nicely done by NECA. Awesome, man. Look at that. Look at the look of that thing. Look at the sharp teeth, the white eyes. Like, just so awesome, dude. He also comes with this, which I think this is like a meat log or something. Looks like a big piece of meat. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it's a big piece of meat. So there we go. And, of course, that's not only what he comes with. He comes with, in my opinion, a very, very important accessory. But not even for him. It's for Goliath. And that is the Goliath Closed Wings. So, I did a video on Goliath a while back. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. One of the things I said was I wish that he had the wings that were closed. And, um... I'm pretty sure I said it in the video anyway. I wish he did have the closed wings. These are the wings that everyone has been asking for. And we finally get them. But of course it comes with Bronx. And it almost makes me wonder if NECA did that on purpose. Because they knew that Bronx by himself didn't have enough accessories. And enough to carry the typical like $30 to $35 price point. So I wonder if they threw that in there. These in there so that we would make people more enticed to buy it. Or if maybe it was just a coincidence and they, uh, you know, they ended up throwing it in at the end after they heard all the backlash. Here he is out of the packaging. We're going to do our first look, the traditional 360 spin so we can get a good look at him from afar. And at and let me tell you, he looks great. I think NECA did a great job. He looks awesome. But of course, this is just from afar. So let's pull him in closer so we can get a closer look at him. And here he is up close. Man, look at that. The powder blue, the white jaw, kind of gray jaw, I should say. The teeth coming out from the bottom. Man, he looks cool. Look at the detail. The ribs, the muscle tone on him. He's got the little spikes on his back, the short little tail, the big claws. Just looks so nicely done, man. Like, look at that. He, he just looks great, man. I can't wait to put him near Goliath. I think he's going to look fantastic so let's start off with our, uh the head for articulation he's got a slight turn to each side there you go the jaw opens and closes on this one a little up little down you know pretty good not bad moves up down again then let's see here we got a little side to side then the arms move up. They come back down. Then we got the like elbow that bends. There we go. Got a, the claws. It's got a, a joint on the. He's got two joints here. He's got one on the hand and one like I don't know about like the wrist. I guess. So there you go. So that's the toes right here. The one that makes the toes move. And then he's got another one at like the... I, I guess that's the wrist for him. So we're going to call it the wrist. So there you go. Makes it move pretty well. So as you guys can see the joints there. And then let's see. Yep, it bows out to the side, which is nice. You can see the butterfly uh, joint right there. 
moves in. See the bottom. He's got like a. It's got like two holes that you can put like displays on, which is nice. And two on the back. Let me see the legs bend back. They also open. So you could pretty much make them like laying down if you want. They close. Then you got a twist by like the knee. Actually, you know what? Let's check up here. Does he twist? Yes, he does. By like the elbow, it twists. So there you go. Got some twist movement there, which is nice. Then he's got, let's see here. We got a little bit of movement on the ankle and then the toe. See, it bends pretty good. There you go. I'm gonna twist. Let's see. So I think I covered everything. I mean, you can make him sit down. All right, so now we're moving into my final thoughts, guys. And um, I ended up swapping out the head. Had no issues there. The, it popped right off. New one popped right in. No problem. I put the piece of meat in front of him. So, you know, let, let me bring in the other head so that way I can show you guys once again the difference here. So here's the, here's the other head. This is the one that originally came with the figure. Now, with the mouth open, they look very similar. But if you really do take a closer look, you'll see that there's more wrinkles on the nose of the head that's on right now and more wrinkles on like the eyes to show that he's like angry as opposed to the other one that can open and close its mouth but the advantage is the other one can open and close its mouth so i mean that's a pretty big advantage in my opinion but if you're going for that like angry look this might be the head you want even though it can't close the, the it can't close its jaw there's more details on his face to show that he's angry. So this might be the look for you. Me personally, I'm going to end up putting the other head back on. And I think I'm going to put the meat in his mouth too. So, um, but anyway, so for my final thoughts on this on this figure, guys, I, th I think NECA did a great job. He looks amazing. He moves really well. The paint apps are beautiful. Very vibrant colors. Um, the only thing is, though, I have to say is that I, I'm not sure if NECA did it on purpose or not but if they didn't have goliath's closed wings with him i feel like the price point would be too high you know what i mean like that 30 dollars price point i feel like would be way too high but because you throw in those wings and a lot of people probably like myself bought goliath and were wishing for those closed wings are probably going to pick up bronx just to get the wings alone now that's not why i picked him up i think he looks fantastic but not gonna lie having the the closed wings is a huge bonus in my opinion. So without the, the closed wings, I think this guy wouldn't have been worth the price point at that $30, especially when you look at how massive Goliath is. So I'm wondering if they did that on purpose or not. But uh, anyway, I think, I think it's great, guys. I love it, and I think it's a great figure to have and add to your collection.